Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, so we are geared up, we've just cleared out the four corners. And we are ready to move on. Oh hello. Didn't expect you to be right there, but there you go. That's for you. Alright. He had a uh, candlestick holder as a weapon. I think we'll pass on that. Where's this other one? Okay, I just want to see if I have time to loot this real quick. What do we got? Uh, plate Greaves, man, those are nice. Those are very nice. Now obviously these stats are better in, in some of these areas, but uh, with these you can still wear shoes that also have stats uh, but not like these unimpressive ones, but ones that have a steel cap. So I think it's it's worth it to go ahead and switch these out. I don't have the steel cap shoes yet, but there are some I know on the third floor. There we go. Nice overhead to the head. Uh, let's see. Our encumbrance is at two circles. Okay, I'm starting to notice it a little bit again. Definitely after putting those greaves on. Nothing significant, not a not a huge jump. Speaking of where are we at right now, so we are almost done with maneuvering in armor too. That's basically gonna make it feel as if we're running in light armor again at this point. But once we put on more plate armor it will become necessary to get maneuvering in armor 3 if you want to keep moving and fighting at the pace you're used to. Or at least that's how I see it. Alright, we're going to go over here and grab a key before going back to that other room. Let's uh, deal with this zombie here. That was not the clean overhead I was looking for. Let's back it up. Well, oh, that kind of messed me up there. See, you never know when the weapon's going to free itself. Whoops, that's why the smart move is to just get a safe distance away and wait until it resolves. Alright, let's go with the stab, I guess. Still fighting. There we go. That was a tough one right there. That's a really nice canvason. Yeah, we're going to put that one on. Been waiting for one that was kind of up in that stat territory. Oh, I did not realize there was another one right there. Whoa, this one is fast. There we are. Okay, so yeah, we came in here to get a key real quick, which is here. Put that there. Alright, so let me just loot this while I'm here. Some leather spalders. Yeah, oh, we can definitely use those. There we go. Okay, so here we have a locked door. But. We just picked up the key, no problem. Hopefully we'll get some decent loot on the other side. One can hope anyway. A bardiche? Yes, a mediocre bardiche in somewhat worn condition. I don't even mind the condition, to tell you the truth. We're going to equip that. For our secondary, of course, there's a map of the floor. And once, once we get our C in the dark helmet, we'll be using the Bardiche frequently. I can tell you that. I'm keeping it zoomed out here because uh, we already have better play griefs yeah, because of this. But they were going to 
just step right into it. And they did that time, and I went forward instead. Did that overhead get his arm? May have missed him completely. That may that blood may have been from something else. What is going on here? Ah, so there's like a a half hafted version of the bill hook, I guess. That's cool. Did we see one of those before? I can't. I don't think so. I don't remember. Exceptionally well made short sword in fairly worn condition. So. Fairly worn? Is that worse than somewhat worn? I think that's the question. Um, let, let me... Let me just check the stats here. So, uh, yeah, ours seems to hold out. Okay. I thought for a second that I misread those stats. Had to double check. Alright. So now that we've cleared that... Uh, we have, oh, another zombie wandering around here. There's another good overhead. Oh, man. Missed. That's okay. Alright, so we managed to clean it up despite the missed overhead. And there's another helm. Not very impressive. We're good with the one we have. I was just I was just about to say, I hope his body doesn't make this a problem. It is making it a problem. We can do our best here to try to manipulate this thing. There we go. Get him out of the way. I was really hoping he was just going to slide away as the door opened. Another short sword. Well made, somewhat worn. Some cloth leggings. We've got that covered. And there's some lore right there, and then some what? Spalders? Yeah. Plate spalders. I'm going to go ahead and throw them on. It gives us now three circles on our encumbrance meter there. All right. The movement still feels about the same. As it did. Alright, I think we had one half less uh, circles. Okay, did I draw blood? I don't know where that hit him. Sloppy fight, but uh, we won, so that's all that matters. Fairly coarse, above average condition. Nah, I'm gonna stick with the Bardiche. And it looks like the. I was gonna say, it looks like the easel has withstood our assault at last, but it did not. We did indeed knock it over. Alright, we're not gonna use that key, but we'll just read that lore, of course, for XP. Move on in here, read this one. This candle always looks like a uh, like a scroll, but you will quickly find that nope, that's a candle. There's a light male shirt in worn condition. Hmm. This one was worn condition as well. But it does have oh no, okay, that's good. Yeah, that new one's good. All right. I I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. 
I don't know what to tell you. Certainly was not an authentic face plant. That one does not go on the books. Man, I'm starting to think only the face plants where the, the character like lets out a grunt or whatever should be counted, maybe. I don't know. Where is the zombie that's usually in here? Maybe they're in the hallway. Yep. Now oh, the weapon's caught. Yeah. That's... It's weird because... I have a... I don't know, I'm not adjusting to the camera angles with my aim to the degree that I should be or that I used to, I feel like. Like when I mess up on an overhead and I'm like, oh, that's right. Uh, I'm dumb. This is not the right movement for that camera angle. Anyway, I feel like that's something I need to, uh, I need to get back as well. I need to do some arena fights is what it boils down to. Alright, I was thinking, man, how many stabs can you withstand here? We've got that stuff covered. Oops, this is a fairly I missed. This is a fairly confined area. Limited space, but because I have the short sword, I'm not too worried about that. Let's see what we can do here. I feel like that weapon's gonna right itself as soon as I get through here. Oh, how did I know? <laughs> Yeah, definitely feeling a bit sluggish on our speed, so uh, I'll be very happy to get maneuvering in armor too, which should happen very soon. There's a key, but I'm not going to use it. And we're, we're past that. We've got some greaves on, so we're basically, again, just looking for the steel-capped shoes. And then after that, the plate sabatons. Thing for us in there. Okay, so there is a half health salve in here, which is a fine thing to have. There's usually not much else. There it is right there. There's usually not too much else in here. But it's still a good idea to search. Uh, all right. Now, somebody... I could have sworn it was here, I think. Somebody had said in a comment previously that... Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong place, but anyway, that there was a container under this bed and it had something in it. I could have sworn somebody said that. I don't, I don't know... I don't know why I think it's this particular bed, but maybe not because I definitely don't see anything under there. Can I move that? That didn't seem to make a difference. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of a different place. Could be. Oh, there we go. We got maneuvering and armor too. Now we're going to work on three and we're going to get attacked. Go. Just 
letting the short sword do its thing. This is going to take us into the catacombs. And of course we go into the catacombs so that we can get a little bit of loot, namely a really good one-handed sword and either a, a really good helmet, well, yeah, a really good helmet, or uh, a really good cuirass, and I, I mean really good like for the, for the area it's in how far into the story mode you are, that kind of thing. Why do I never remember which camera angle works the best for this? I never, never remember, but this seems to be possibly working. Yeah, there we go. I think I dropped that plank down in the last run, but we didn't even loot this. There, yeah, it's a helmet. So, there's the sword. It's really nice, but it doesn't have... I mean, it's it's longer than the short sword, obviously, so it just, it, I don't know, it just feels different. But technically, this one, the ornate sword, has more thrust damage. And slash damage, of course, but, well, okay, everything. But it always felt to me like the short sword seemed to do better with thrust. But obviously, I'm looking at the stats. That's not the case. So that's why we'll switch to that. And then there's this helmet, which is nice. Uh, and I'll wear it, but I'm going to find my Sea in the Dark helmet uh, on the next level. So it's like, you know, this ain't going to last long. I'm kind of thinking about busting out the Bardish for the fight against the Graveyard Skeleton. I think we can do it. If I can get him to come over here. Oh, please, no, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I can't believe I stepped into this grave again. Oh, take that. There we go. We got, I think we got an overhead in. That was definitely good. No, I missed. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, Odin is such an idiot, and you know what a what a horrible performance. But I'll have you know that that's probably the fastest I've ever killed that guy. All right, we don't want that, but we can get a consolation prize, basically, which is the armor here. It's not the best looking armor in the world. You know what I mean? But there are some capped shoes, some counters for our elbows. We already have uh, greed. Oh, these are very worn, though. But the stats are the same. And these are fairly well made, so I'll just go with those. We can get rid of this stuff. And we've got... There we go, the van braces. We have spalders, we're good on that. Yeah, the real challenge is just getting out of this grave. There we are. Alright, there is another skeleton. And if we wanted to use the bardiche, which I do want to do, we could either throw the torch on the ground near where he is and hope that the fight stays there. Or I can draw him backwards into the light. Um, he has a shield, and that just basically always complicates things. And then of course the fact that you're fighting him in complete darkness right through here. So we'll uh, see how that goes first thing next episode. Thank you all very much for hanging out, I appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you guys next time.